Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from a developer about type limits in C programming. The question revolves around an attempt to limit an unsigned integer, specifically an unsigned short. Our viewer is curious about a warning they received from GCC regarding a comparison that seems always false due to the limited range of the data type. Let's dive into the details and uncover whether this is a bug in GCC or a misunderstanding of type limits. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's analyze the code snippet provided. We have an unsigned short variable C and a conditional check to limit its value. The intention here is to ensure that C does not exceed the maximum value for an unsigned short, which is typically 655535. However, GCC issues a warning stating that the comparison is always false due to the limited range of the data type. This can be confusing. This warning arises because the C standard guarantees that an unsigned short cannot exceed its defined range. On most platforms, this is 16 bits. In conclusion, this is not a bug in GCC. It's a reminder that while your machine may have a 16-bit unsigned short, it's not universally applicable. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user explains that GCC's warning about the comparison always being false is not a bug, as it holds true on their machine. They commend GCC for catching this while noting that Clang did not. However, they point out that GCC failed to consider that this might not be true on other machines, suggesting a need for improvement. The user mentions that in C++11, the least integer types may be implemented as type defs. By the time GCC checks for warnings, it may not recognize the original data type, making it hard to infer the comparison's validity on different systems. Finally, the user expresses curiosity about GCC's perspective on this issue and suggests filing a bug report for further clarification. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The issue with limiting an unsigned integer isn't necessarily a bug, but it may be a simplistic feature. It's understandable to want this for portability. Since there are no standard macros to determine type sizes, consider adding a step in your build process to define this information. For example, in your make file, you can conditionally add a definition based on the type size. You can then use this definition in your code to limit the unsigned integer appropriately.
Lastly, there's a suggestion to propose smarter behavior to the GCC team regarding these type aliases. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Yeah.